Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus 11 other courses like fundamentals, pediatrics, maternity, mental health, and more. Complete with over 300 follow along cheat sheets and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right, guys, let's begin. Now for the big cholinergics. We have neostigmine and pyridiostigmine. These are given to patients with MG, that myasthenia gravis. These clients get too dry and, in result, lack mobility and lack the strength to move since they have tons of muscle cramping. So we call myasthenia gravis dryasthenia gravity since the lack of strength and mobility, like a big weight is weighing on them. Now, this is sort of like a tin man from Wizard of Oz, who needs to be lubed up to move. So clients in the same way get so dry that they can't see, pee, spit, or sh poop, and even move. So we basically get massive anticholinergic effects with myasthenius gravis, dry asthenius. So with neostigmine, this drug helps to lube up the body with secretions. So the memory trick, just think stigmine or stigmine. Secretions are mine with the stigmines. And so the body gets super wet and wild. Now the big side effect to note is this drug can work too well and add too much secretions with the stigmines, causing a huge flood of fluid inside the body. It's kind of like secretion faucets are held wide open. So the patient gets wet and wild like a water park. Yoo-hoo! Now, this is called a cholinergic crisis. Basically, cholinergic crisis is a secretion crisis with a cholinergic crisis. We see lots of C, lots of P, lots of spit, and lots of sh poop. So basically, an increase in pupil constriction. We get a lot of tears called lacrimation. Salivation, we have drooling, and sweating, we have diaphoresis. And as far as sh poop, we get a lot of diarrhea and even some nausea and vomiting. Now, to stop this cholinergic crisis and to turn off these secretions, we just give an anticholinergic. Just think it's anti-secretion with an anticholinergic. So the antidote to know is atropine, the most famous anticholinergic here. So just think atropine ends in tropine or tropine. So think you can't pee with the tropine. These anticholinergics work by turning off the PNS, that rest and digest, to stop the secretions, and turn on the SNS, that fight and flight. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.